I'm PB Plummer and today I've been lucky enough to have been invited to Lawton Tube with Robert Lawton and we're going to look at one of the biggest myths, well I say myths, we'll find out, about bending copper pipe, why does the copper pipe ripple in my bender? So I want to know, is it the bender or is it the copper? Okay. So we've got some standard yeah, British. Straight out of the warehouse. Straight out of the warehouse, 50 mil tube, which is 0.7 mil wall thickness. Yep. So and basic that's plumbing tube. An industry standard in the UK. Yep. And you work to strict tolerances. So that's uh, it's made to be in 1057. Yep. It'll be CE marked and it'll have a kite marker license on it. And we will guarantee against uh, man manufacturer's defect for 25 years. So this is basically checked, checked again before it goes checked. out. Every, every batch that we manufacture, we, we, as part of British standards, we have to inspect the pipe. Okay, so then I get it on site and I've got my traditional scissor bender. No pressure. I, I pop it in and I pull a 90 bender, whatever I'm doing on the job. Yeah. Get on my knee there. So we do that and hopefully we have a nice clean bend. Yeah, that's a 7 out of 10. So we know that my bender's working okay, I'm working okay, and the copper pipe's working okay. Okay, are you happy with that? I'm happy with that, but sometimes it'll get a ripple on it. Okay, and on, people, on the bend, yeah. On the bend, and people will say, oh, it's the, it's the thickness of the copper, they don't make it as well as they used to, okay. the, the wall's too thin. But it's very unlikely that that is the case because, unlikely, because yeah. of the, the strict um, quality control it goes through. Yeah, so there's, there's a tolerance within the wall thickness, there's a tolerance on the OD, there's a tolerance of the length, there's yeah. tolerances on everything. Okay, so then we're looking at the bender. So it could be it's a bit loose or okay. it's not been cleaned or it's been dropped and it's or got a big... maybe not used the right... Yeah, or maybe that came with an old Rothenberger one and I'm using it now in this Narad one. Yeah. So it's more likely to be this than the, the copper tube. But we all know that the one guy, my tool's fine, nothing wrong with me, it's your copper. Yeah. You've sold me some dodgy copper. So okay. what happens then? I've got a ripple piece of copper, I'm moaning at you saying your copper's no good. What's the, what's the procedure? Well, there's two things you can do. You can either use another piece of pipe either from a uh, 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 different batch, and they've all got numbers on them, so they're yeah. traceable. You could use a different, a competitor's pipe yeah. from, from somewhere else, and that would rule out whether it's the pipe or not. So you could do some things on site, yeah. some quite quick, easy things. If, if you're adamant that pipe is, is the issue, um, you can send us a, a 30 centimetre length, or you can send us that, that actual piece that you've got there, and we can do some hardness tests, and we can, we can check to see whether or not the pipe is within a tolerance of, of the hardness because that's what's going to be the issue. Yeah. So it needs to be between 75 and 100 VPN because, um, so that's the measure. That's the, that's the, that's the, and we've got obviously you've filmed before and you've seen it and we can yeah. have a look at that later and we can do a hardness test and it's quite a quick, easy thing. And that's basically what you would do, yeah. right? So that would rule out whether or not it's the pipe. So the pipe's rippled. I send it to you, yep. you do all the checks on it, yep. and basically you, you'll tell me the pipe was yeah, so as it should be, thickness, strength, everything. Yeah, so we can do all sorts of tests within house. We can do a, an OD test, a wall thickness test, and in particular for the, for the bending, the biggest thing that will be the issue on that will be the hardness, if there is an issue. Yep. And we've got a, a test machine in-house. Uh, we could do it same day that the pipe arrives. So if you send it by courier within 24 hours, we'll test it immediately. If you want to sign it, just to make sure that it's proof, we could do a video uh, of, of all the tests that we're doing on it. Yeah. So you, we can send it back to you on, a, on, so you can see whether or not it is the pipe. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll test to make sure it's between, so 15 per 0.7 is meant to be half hard, right? Yeah. It says R250 on the pipe, which means it's half hard. In in actual numbers, that's between 75 and 100 VPN. Right. And the machine that we've got in the factory will test it and it'll tell us exactly whether that's within spec or not. And if it's not in spec, we'll tell you. Okay. Right, so I've got this. You might not have seen one of these before. No. This is the backhoe Good colour. pipe bender. Now, everybody wants one of these. The reason right. everyone wants one of these is because you okay. can't buy them anymore. Right, okay. And they pull a 180 in 15 mil copper, or they're supposed to pull a 180 in okay. 15 mil copper. Now I got this at a tool fair and when I first got it, 
it, I would say 70% of the time it worked all right. Okay. But a lot of the time it will ripple the copper pipe. Right. So we're going to try this now on, this is another length of your finest 15 mil that's just come straight off one of these piles. Yeah. So this is the 0.7 still, yeah? This is still the traditional what standard UK in, pipe. In, in any yeah. merchants, so yep. 0.7 okay. mil wall. I'm just going to pull a 180 in it. Yeah. So the way this bender works, we've got no... No guide. It's a fixed guide on the handle. We've not got a, a separate one like that. Okay. And let's just pull that around. There's 90. And we'll go all the way to 180. There. Okay, so you can see wow, yes. how badly that's rippled that pipe. Yeah, yeah. Now, I spoke to Baco who make this, because obviously I paid, um, paid for that at a tool fair, and they had so many complaints about it rippling the copper pipe. Mm -hmm. Their argument was this was designed for the European market. Okay. Now, having spoken to you earlier today, yeah. You produce this, so tell us about this. This is the so copper. It, it, it's it's exactly the same as 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 your traditional uh, fifty mil pipe that you're getting the merchants, but this is one mil thick. And this is what they would sell. And in that's Europe. what you would find inside Europe. Yeah. So, so this is thicker. It does feel heavier. And we do sell this in the UK. Um, and before EN ten fifty seven, this would be called table X. This would be called table Y. So you can. So that would that would take a higher working pressure. So you thicker. can request table Y from you your merchants. Yeah. Will a standard 15mm elbow fit on that? Yeah, the yeah. The so ODs the ODs is exactly the same. same. Yeah. It's the wall thickness. So you've got one mil thick, 0.7. Obviously, okay. that's going to be more expensive. Do you but you, you would use that in uh, if you needed a higher pressure system. Right. How much more expensive? Do you know? Well, it's 30% more expensive because it's 30% thicker. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same bend now yeah. using this. So it's got the same tolerances, got the same 25-year uh, uh, warranty against manufacturer's defect. Yeah, so it's exactly yeah. the same, it's just thicker. Okay, so we'll do the 180 again on this European standard pipe. There. And yeah, we've got a perfect no kink bend. So that kind of proves the argument that that bender there was designed to work in Europe, in Europe on or, their or thicker slightly pipe. thicker copper pipe. Okay. So this one mil thick pipe, which yeah. can use higher pressures. Yeah. What about the fittings? Same. Same as you would use on. You would use the same fitting, yeah. Ian one two five four. So they don't make a, a thicker, thicker fitting. walled fitting. Uh, you can get GHD fittings and, and specialised fittings, hmm. uh, but there wouldn't be a thicker wall. Because I'm just thinking, if you if you're going to the trouble of getting a thicker, a thicker wall pipe. pipe because of the pressures, and you're putting a fitting on it, yeah, that's going to be your well. Your, point. Fi your fittings do take a higher pressure than the tube. Oh, do they? Why is that? Um, I would imagine. I need to think about this one. Got him. So, uh, I don't honestly know. No, we're not, <laughs> not, we're not going live on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is 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 the is the way that you uh, work the working pressure out. I think you can go three times on the fitting. But this is a good point, yeah. right? Because because a lot of fittings that are, are, are kicking around, certainly in the UK aren't kite marked, yeah. but the pipe is kite marked. So let me tell you a story about this. If you go into a, a national plumber's merchants and you buy a bargain bucket of fittings, there's no guarantee that those fittings are suitable to use on, for example, natural gas. It's, some, it's something you wouldn't even imagine. You go into a merchant's and you buy some fittings, you think, oh, I can use them on anything. It's not necessarily the case. You've got to check what those fittings have been classified acceptable to use for which is, with gas, obviously, you know, very important. Mm. So the fittings aren't as regulated as the pipe, would you say? Uh, more so now than they used to be. Right. I think, I think there was a time where people were importing fittings and some of the fittings weren't as good as others, let's yeah. say. Um, Just holding this, though, you, you can And the fittings tell. today are spot on, especially if they come from Lawton Tubes. It's incredible obviously. how just holding that you can feel the difference in weight. It's 0.3 of a mil. Difference in, in thickness. In yeah. thickness, but yeah. that feels so much thicker. 
it's there's nothing strange. wrong with having a 0.7 thickness. So if you go to 35 mil, yeah. we offer two wall thicknesses, right? Yeah. So you've got 35 by 1.2, which, which is a traditional table X wall thickness, yeah. okay? Which is half hard, so you can bend it. Not many people bend above 28 mil. I, yeah. I think not many people bend above 28. So 15, 22, you bend. Everything else, you probably don't bend, Yeah. right? Some years ago, it was introduced a one mil thick 35 mil, right? We brand that as Litex, but it's hard drawn. So actually, even though it's got a thinner wall thickness, because of the temper, it allows you the harder the tube, the higher the working pressure. Right. So because not many people bend 35, you can save yourself 20% again on, on the wall thickness but it still does exactly the same job. It's still kite marked, it's still got a 25 year warranty. Yeah. You just can't bend it. Mm. And you'll get the same working pressure. Now that has taken some time in the market for people to get their head around that. But because we, 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 we don't bend, or not many people bend 35 upwards, why make a tube that's half hard? Yeah. Yeah? If you go into the Europeans, a lot of their tube is hard drawn because not many people in Europe bend as much as they do here. It's, it's just horses for courses, isn't it? You, you've got to be in the market to understand what product you need to sell in that market that you're selling into, yeah. rather than having a universal product you think everybody uses. It's, it's, it's like anything, taps, anything. You know, you, you, American-style fridge freezers. I've got one in my house, right? All works on imperial pipe. Yeah. When you buy it, you don't even think about that. So you're only trying to fit metric tube to it. You then need to get imperial-sized pipe to, to fit it to your, and then use adapters to fit it to, uh, yeah. To your, to your mains. True. The other thing I'm thinking is this is uh, one mil wall thickness. Yeah. So that's in fact a thicker wall than our standard 22 mil pipe, which is 0.9 mil. Yes, correct. So. So the equivalent in 22 mil would be 1.2. But it didn't feel any more difficult to bend. You would think being the th uh, same wall thickness as 22 mil pipe, it would struggle more to bend it, but. It, um, it bends just as easy as your 0.7 mil wall thickness, so. Because it's half hard. It's a temper. It's exactly the same hardness as, as the 0.7. So we've got um, 0.1, which is um, 3, 0.3 thicker than the standard. Do you do that on a 22 mil pipe as well? Is so 22 mil 1 with 1.2. 1.2. So in old school, it would be called table Y. So there used to be, go back a long time ago, there'd be table Z, which was uber thin, yeah. 15 per 0.5. Then there was 15 per 0.7, which is your traditional table X, which is what you get in your merchants every day of the week. Yeah. And then you've got what they call table Y, which is the one mil thick. So, okay. so it's always going to be, table Y is always going to be thicker on the OD yeah. than table so, X. So every pipe size has a table. It used to. X so now, now as the N1057, it's just one big table. Right. So you can have multiple wall thicknesses per size of pipe. Okay. And it'll tell you what's recommended and what's not recommended. So our 35 by one, which I spoke about earlier, is, is, is part of that EN 1057. So we only sell a product that is within the standard of the overall plumbing tube standard. And then within that, you've got different wall thicknesses. Yeah? And then you can have a hard tube. So when you've got coil, so if you're using microbore or yeah. you're using 15 and 22 mil, which you can get in a coil, because it's soft, you've got to make the wall thickness thicker in order to have a decent working pressure. Yeah. So you have to have thick tube. So, so, so your 15 mil coil, for example, would be one mil thick. Yeah. Because it's soft. And because it's soft, you have to make the wall thickness thicker to carry the working pressure. Yeah. So you couldn't have a 15 by 0.7 uh, coil because it wouldn't have the pressure. Yeah. It does the same characteristics, but it just wouldn't have the working pressure on it. Who knew there was that much going on? For a piece of pipe. For a piece with, of copper pipe. I know. In conclusion, it's very unlikely that the copper pipe's at fault. It's more likely going to be you've let your bender get loose, you've not cleaned it or you've dropped it. Yeah. Or I think sometimes, especially with 22 mil, if you're not strong enough to pull the bend, you're doing it on the deck and you're going in installments, sometimes that can kink it. Or you've not got your hook in the right place. But to sum up, it's probably not the copper that's at fault.
Very true. Thanks for watching.